Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at creating new sprites with p5.play. Let's get started. So first off, we're going to go on and create up just a nice little example, um, basically using up uh, the p5.js example that they uh, have on their website. And then we're going to go on and make a little bit more, uh, some more adjustments to it. So let's go on and create this first part here. Let's make this maybe 600 by 600. We want it to be a little bit bigger. Uh, let's go on and make the background um, white. And then let's go on and put in a little bit of information. So fill zero, we want our text to be black. Uh, text align here, we want it to be center. And then we'll say text here, uh, click to create a sprite. Uh, and then let's have this at our width divided by two divided by two or height divided by two. And we'll we'll fix this up a little bit later on. Let me maybe make this a little bit wider for us for now. Um, and again, we can, we can run this real quick. And you can see here in the center uh, that we have our little sprite. And maybe it'd be better if I zoom out just a little bit. So you can see that it's in our spot. And our goal here is whenever we click anywhere, we will see a creation of a new sprite. Now we have some nice uh, useful functions in here. So we have the draw sprite or draw sprites. Okay, both of them work. Now it's gonna tell me that it's that it's not referencing anything right now and that's fine. And this is gonna automatically uh, create up um, our sprites. Now we need to give it basically some nice little Callback. So, for example, here our function will be something like mouse pressed here, and we will have it so that var s is equal to create sprite mouse x mouse y. So we want it at our location. Uh, we want it to be at 3030 in size. Uh, now, it has this nice automatic functionality with it. Okay, this draw sprite that if you don't give it any type of animation or anything, it will simply uh, fill it with a nice square. So if we go over here right now, oh, and it did not, what didn't it like here? Um, var create s function, mouse x, mouse y, 3030, what, what is, whoops. Let's take a look and see what the error is. Probably something silly. Uh, create sprite is not defined. Okay, well, again, I wasn't paying much attention whenever I uh, opened this up, so I need to go over and grab the uh, the location of uh, p5.play. Let me grab that really quickly. Okay, so I'm back with this. Let me go and put this in our header. Again, I just forgot to add it in. So let me put the script in there, save it. Now we can go back over. And now if we play this, I go over here, notice now we can kind of give it chicken pox. Um, so, and again though, notice we haven't done anything with this. So this is just gonna create up automatically. It'll grab some random color and it'll grab a, uh, make a square. So again, we can even change the size in here, something like this, if you want to, okay? that's. Fine. Now, this is great, but we want to also, if you want it to be able to move, okay, then this S variable, this create sprite, actually has velocity, whoops, associated with it. So, for example, you can do S dot velocity dot X is equal to five. Um, and so if you click it, notice it'll shoot them over to the left. If you want them to, um, maybe I'll set this at zero and I'll say s.velocity 
dot y is equal to five. Now notice this will drop them down. If you want them to fly upwards, make it negative. Okay, and they fly negative. You want them to be in some sort of diagonal, then you can do something, whoops, like this, and then it'll shoot them all in the same diagonal. Or if you want to add some randomization, you can say something like random, negative uh, five, five, random, negative five, five. And we can run this as well. And notice it'll just shoot them off in kind of any direction at a variety of different speeds. All in good, but again, we want to use this with our own sprite sheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on and grab up our own uh, sprite sheet. So let me let me pull in a sprite sheet, and I'm going to create up some folder, and I'm going to call this assets. And then I'm also going to import in here. Uh, let me upload a file. And I know that in my desktop, I grabbed a PNG for a firework, okay? And it's just a kind of a, just a random firework I grab a sprite sheet that I grabbed off online. And I need to go on and create a preload function. I need to grab some variables. So let's say var sprite sheet um, var firework. And again, if you want to do this with some other uh, sprite sheet you can okay um, I'm just going to use it with my um, with my normal sprite sheet and I'm going to want them just to go off where I click them so I'm going to turn off any of this velocity here and let's go back up and let's say something like whoops Happy New Year. I know it's a little late, but again, maybe Chinese New Year's coming up so we can do something like that. And let's change this to um, 255, 255, 255. And we want our background here to be zero. So it'll be black. And let's move this, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with this a little bit later. Let me, I got kind of sidetracked there. So let's go on and put up our fireworks. So we create up a preload function. And then we load up the sprite sheet and our animation. Load sprite sheet, it's under assets. And it is called firework.png. And its size is 256 by 256. Um, and there are 30 pieces to that animation. And then let's go on and create up firework here. And this will be loading the animation of our sprite sheet. And now the key to this, okay, is to go and you're going to add in one new piece here. If you go down to the bottom here and you do s dot add animation we want firework and this is firework now if I go on over here let me do this with trying without touching it now if I touch we have our fireworks going off okay so again you guys can update this any time any way that you want. If you like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.